Dear students, now we are going to discuss about 3D modeling. Now, how to draw a 3D model on an AutoCAD software. See students, I just open an AutoCAD screen. Okay. So now, for your 3D modeling, there is no need for your title block. Okay. So just listen. So these are the two problems which have been, I am going to display for you. So this is a problem which we are going to discuss now. So I will be just uh, keeping these two scenes parallel so that it will be easy for us for drawing. Okay. Now you can able to see your question as well as your diagram. See students, before this is your drawing condition. For first we are going to go for your 3D modeling area. Just click this settings. Click 3D modeling. Okay. Now, what they asked us to draw? They are asked you to draw a hexagonal prism of 30 mm and height is 60 mm. It is resting on HP on its base such that two rectangular faces are parallel to VP. Uh, another problem, 30 degree pentagonal pyramid, your axis height is 60 mm and they are given your base one edge is perpendicular to VP. See this, it has been parallel to VP, over here it has been perpendicular to VP. So I am going to draw this both the diagram on the same screen. So I just clicked your 3D more settings, change to 3D modeling. So your grid has been on, for that what I have to do is, I have to just click F7 to switch off your grid. Next to students, I have to get your 3D screen. See now it's still it is 2D screen only. You can see on your axis it is X and Y. So what I have to do is, I have to just click visualize. Over here you can see unsaved view. Just click that and select SC isometric. Now you can see your X, Y and Z direction has been available. Okay. Then once again click your home. First I have to draw a prism students. So what I have to do is, I have to get an hexagon. Okay. So you know your polygon command. Just click your polygon command. Number of sides for hexagon is 6. Enter. I am going to draw by H method, E, enter. I have just clicked my first point. You can see hexagon. See, if I draw uh, this portion, okay, both edges are perpendicular to. Now, it has been parallel. So, I have just drawn on this portion. Okay. What is your dimension they are given? 30 mm base. Just click 30. So, I have drawn your hexagon. Now, I have to extrude it for your height 60. So, I am going to use your command extrude. Just click your extrude over here. Just select your hexagon enter okay then you give your height your height has been 60 enter now we have drawn an hexagon of a, a three dimensional view okay next they ask us to draw for a pyramid see students you cannot use directly your extrude to draw your pyramid when you have a pyramid problem just click your box over here you can see cylinder cone sphere pyramid has been available just click your pyramid it will be asking center point or edge ok so we are going to first specify your side so i have to give, give s enter for pentagonal pyramid your side will be 5 so 5 enter next i have to give your edge method i am going to draw by e enter ok just click your first point you can see a pentagon is being coming over here when you zoom your mouse see it they are told that it should be perp uh, perpendicular to your vp just click like this and they are given your dimension as 30 ok so move it on your top direction if you move it on your bottom direction also you can see your mouse when i move my mouse your height has been varying so your height has been 60 enter ok now you can see i have just drawn an 3d hexagon and pentagon clear sir it has been only a wireframe diagram how it has been 3d what i have to do is i have to just click over here i have a 3d wireframe just select shaded you can see you have gotten 3D hexagon and pentagon. Similarly, you can draw for your cone also students. Just click your cone. It will be asking your center point. Just click your center point. It will be asking your radius. So, I have just given your radius as 25 and I just moved. Your height has been, I have given a height has been 90. Just click that, you will be getting your cone. Okay. If you need to draw a cylinder, just click your circle. Click center point give your radius i have given given a radius as 25 okay just click extrude select your circle enter you have to give your extrusion height i am giving it as 85 so this is how we can draw your prism and pyramid students if they ask you to draw a prism 
draw your base shape and use their extrude command to extrude for your height if they ask you to draw a pyramid you have to just click it over here or this box will be available just click it over here select your pyramid you can draw it okay so with this i wind up your lecture for uh, drawing your 3d modeling command once again i am remembering you students uh, for 3d modeling no need to draw your title block thank you all